This man has a singular advantage over other men. Ben Richards is immune to every known disease, including old age. Periodic transfusions of his blood can give other men a second, a third lifetime, perhaps more. Find Ben Richards. The effects of a transfusion are only temporary. I must therefore control Ben Richards' life permanently. He's the most valuable man in the world, but he's no good to be dead. His brother may have the same kind of blood. We've got to find him before Richards does. If you had million dollar blood, where would you hide? I didn't ask for this. I was a test driver. I liked the job. One day the doctor told me I had some kind of special blood. I don't understand it, but I know this. Everything they're offering, I don't want. I gotta live free. Richards will live longer than anyone has ever lived. But a transfusion to the wrong man could make him a prisoner for all time. And so he runs from the hunters, the human hounds who would cage him. You may be, but uh... I wouldn't want you to be uncomfortable, Ben, since neither one of us are going to be leaving here for some time. How'd you find me? Oh, we traced you to the area and ran an aerial survey. Anyway, I'm hungry. How about some food? We have a choice of stew or hash. Aerial survey. You know, if I ever own a bloodhound, Fletcher, you know, I wish he looked just like you. I'm flattered, but in the meantime, can you cook? Hash or stew? Yeah, I could uh, scramble them together. Well, that's creative. Oh, I just remembered. You enjoy the offbeat foods, don't you? Yeah, you know, it's funny. You know more about me than I do. And I don't know the first thing about you. What makes you tick, Fletcher? Is it just the money? On the day I deliver you to Arthur Maitland, Ben, I'll be a very wealthy man. But no, no, it's not just the money, Ben. I have a special skill. I'm a hunter. And uh, you challenge the skill. It's as simple as that. Now the hunt's over. Oh, uh, unless I leave. In this store, and when it's over, my men fly in. And then to Maitland. Precisely. Maitland. Hey, uh, what's he like? Maitland? He's old, he's arrogant, and he's very, very rich. And he wants to live forever. Just like your old boss, Jordan Braddock. Tell me something. Do you enjoy working for people like this? Men like Maitland and Braddock need my skills. They pay my price. Braddock was an old sick man when he discovered the secrets of your blood. He had all the money in the world and no future. He was an industrialist. He was used to winning his battles by using money as a weapon. And he was willing to pay any price for you. Anything. Mr. Braddock. Using computers to track Ben Richards is beginning to pay off. Well, well, where is he? There was a preliminary readout this morning. Well, let's see it. It lists three places that a man of his background and skills would be most likely to go. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Um, he grew up in that region. 
Would you bother to inform your computer that he's a grown man? Why would he return to his childhood? Computers deal in facts, Mr. Logic. Never mind defending your mechanical children. It's not their fault that you can't program them for hunches. Or mankind's gut instincts. Uh, concentrate our search on all the auto racing tracks. Sebring, Daytona Beach, make use of everyone he's ever known. Friends, acquaintances, former employees, spare no expense, no effort, I want results. Jack, Jack Hutchins. <laughs> hey, Ben, good to see you, man. What are you doing down here? Uh, anything I can pick up. Right now, I'm driving relief on some tire tests for uh, Volcane Tech. I thought you found a home in uh, Braddock Industries. Yeah, things change. Hey, how's Marge and the kids? Oh, Marge is fine. The kids are great. Listen, why don't you come over for dinner tonight? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, beautiful. Listen, I'll meet you in the lounge after I call Marge and tell her to put on an extra plate. Okay, fine. Oh, check. Yo, tell Marge not to put herself out. Pot luck with you two would be great. Now, don't worry about her. I'd like to make a long-distance call, collect. Uh, Braddock Industries. idea how much I've been looking forward to this moment. Ah! Come, come, Mr. Richards. Don't make them settle your nerves with that tranquilizing gas. Be realistic and accept the situation gracefully. <laughs> Get in. Anyone sell out a friend because a buyer comes along? Fifteen hundred dollars. Your friend came bargain basement. Well, he has to live with it. I don't think he'll find it all that difficult. Conscience is a highly flexible thing. We told your friend that you'd suffer a slight loss of freedom, otherwise the very best of everything. Within a month, he'll have convinced himself that he's actually done you a favor. My opinion of the human race was that low. I think I'd resign. I wonder if you'd feel quite so superior if you had no choice. 
if your membership was in danger of being terminated, as mine is. I can feel it. Death. Lurking there like an offshore fog. Waiting. Let's not be morbid. You'll be home free in an hour, Mr. Braddock. The equipment's standing by at the plane. Yes, I know. I know. And for Mr. Richards, we'll have uh, some orange juice and a cookie after the transfusion. <laughs> We're heading for the airport. This must be the uh, scenic route. It's a private landing strip. This is the way we came. I mapped out a shortcut that will save us 20 miles and get us to the plane without attracting any attention. I didn't authorize any shortcut. Safety is more important than speed. Besides, we might get lost. We'll take the highway. But this will save... You heard me, Adam. Turn this car around at once. Wetzel. <laughs> Mustn't be so trusting, Richards. People will take advantage of you. All right, Mr. Richards. He doesn't need your solicitude. He's dead. Get in the car. Why don't you quit waving that thing around? This thing, this thing is worthy of your respect. You'd better get behind the wheel. Demonstrate your prowess. We must get to my plane and the transfusion equipment without further delay. <laughs> must I use further emphasis? One thing I know for sure. You don't want me bleeding. Yes. Yes. Of course you're right. Your life is my life. What could be more logical? The point is this, Richards. If you cross me, if you deny me the blood I need to stay alive, I'm going to pull this trigger. Now, think about that. What were you saying? Get in the car and drive. Struggling along the flat tires. Where are we? Richard, why haven't we gotten back to the highway? Because we're not going back. With any luck, this car will get us to a telephone. Then you can call that flying blood mobile of yours and have a doctor come get you. And I'm taking off. Richard. 
Please. Trust people and they take advantage of you. Uh, perhaps. Then again, perhaps you humor an old man. You cut that out. How can I enjoy driving your car with that thing pointed at me? Oh. Oh. Richards, name your price. I have wealth, wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Power to grant your every wish, asking it's yours. I'm not for sale. Every man is. I simply haven't hit on the proper currency, but I'll find it in time. In time, I'll find it. Where there's a mailbox, there's people in telephones. Braddock? Braddock. That's the second gun someone's pointed at me today. Who are you? I need to use your phone. You Rafe's friend from Tampa? There's been an accident. Old man's hurt. I need to call a doctor. You ain't baiting me out to that car. Well, look for yourself. He needs help. All I want to do is use your phone to call a doctor. Move closer. I want to see your eyes. Tell me a lie. Uh, I'm Ray's friend from Tampa. I got no phone. Nearest one's down to the junction store. It's more than three miles. <sighs> well, even if the car does make it, I'm not sure the old man will. Can I bring him inside? to get all wrought up. You're amongst friends. Where... Where is... Miriam? You were calling for somebody by that name. Is she your daughter? I don't know. I don't know any Miriam. Miriam. Miriam, my sister. You just lie back, nice and quiet. Why should I call her? She's been dead for 60 years. Sometimes memories get all stirred up, especially when a body's getting on. Where is, where is Richards, the man who's driving my car? He's out trying to fix it. I'll go tell him you're No, away. no, no, no. Don't you 
do that. He's a wanted man. Please leave home. No, listen to me. He's dangerous. You've got to help me to a phone, so I... I've got no phone. Please leave go. Oh, no, no. We, we've got to work together. You keep him here tonight. I, I don't like me. you touching me. Get hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. Give me that. Look, miss. What is your name? Grace Lee Camby, and it's Mrs. Uh, uh, where is Mr. Camby? Dead and buried for three years now. I am sorry, Grace Lee. I know how hard it is to live alone. I make out just fine. Yes, of course you do. You're young and strong. You have everything. Everything that is except money, right? You can have that, too, if you just do as I say. Ten thousand dollars. How does that sound? Mister, if you think I'm gonna... No, no, listen to me, girl. I'm Jordan Braddock. Braddock Industries. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you twenty-five thousand dollars. For what? It's for keeping Richards here tonight. You can do that, girl. I'm going to give you a number to call after he's asleep. All you'd have to do is slip out, go down the road to the nearest phone. And... You got the money on you? Don't be ridiculous. Nobody carries that much on him. But I can get it, I promise you that, in a matter of hours. Think of a girl, all that money right in your hands. Think of what it can buy. Clothes, travel. A whole new life, Grace Lee. I ain't so sure I'm for sale. Everybody's for sale. Fifty thousand dollars for doing what you'd probably do for nothing anyway. Did I hear fifty thousand dollars? Who's he trying to buy now, you or me? Both, kind of. Yeah, he's tried to buy me before. Many times. Why? It's best you don't know. Does he want you to marry one of his kinfolk or something? No. Something I have that he wants, and I'm the only one he can get it from. Except maybe my brother. But I intend to find him before he does. $50,000. That's my final offer. That's more money than you could hope to see in an entire lifetime. I reckon so. It's a lot more than I got the first time. What do you mean by that? My daddy sold me. Made me marry Oliver Camby. He was an old man. But he was rich, and Daddy owed him. I wasn't even 15. That's why I couldn't stand to have you touch me. I hate old men's hands. No. No, if I was to take money from hands like that, it, it'd haunt me to my grave. Women. Hard to figure, aren't they? Why would God, I'd have found a better use for Adam's rib. It 
was dark. I couldn't start hunting for him then, so I made it back here for help. Now, do I have your authority to handle things from this end? You get me men and helicopters, send them from the Waycross plant, and uh, I'll have the old man and Richards by nightfall. OK? Finished working on that. I got some coffee brewing. Thanks. Your friend's still sleeping. He's kind of restless, though. Where are you planning on taking him? Someplace where I can call a doctor. Well, there's Dr. Strom's place over in Yulachi. He can give first aid. That'd be good. You know, he don't seem so sick to me as he does old. Why do some old folk want to live forever? Well, I suppose no one really wants to die. Some people don't get a chance to live before they die. You got good hands. I never rode in a car like that. I don't think anyone's going to ride in that one for a while. I've never been further in Yulachi. I sure would like to get away from here. Even for a little bit. As bad as it seems here sometimes, it's always good to belong somewhere. Get you some coffee. Um, do you have do you have any transportation here? The old truck's got a broken axle, but I've got a mule and a wagon in the barn. Do you want to see it? The wagon ain't much, but the animal's good. Very good. You can depend on it. Finish, we're leaving. It's all the breakfast you get. You just said the car wouldn't run. We don't have any gasoline. The girl's gonna lend us transportation. And then what? Then we're taking you to a doctor, and I take a running start. I'll stand up. Richards. <clears throat> Richards, I'm dying. No, you're not. Your color's better this morning. Your disposition is worse. And Richards, I will not suffer any more indignities. I'm Jordan Braddock, not some, some farm hand. Well, this farm country will blend right in. Why are you staring at me like that? Them clothes, they're my late husband's. Standing there, you look just like him for a minute. Hmm. Hmm. I made you like a bed. It It'll be easier riding for you. Thoughtful, wasn't it, Braddock? What is that smell? Whole wagon reeks of it, including the blankets. Chicken feed. Well... You'll remember those directions I gave you? Yeah, no problem. Sooner or later, there's gonna be some people looking for us. And... I won't tell on you. You tell them everything. They play rough. You understand? $50,000. For the rest of your life, you'll never forget this. No, I don't guess I ever will. Tell me. There's something I don't understand. I if he's your enemy, why are you going out of your way to protect him? Why don't you look out for number one? Then I'd be like him.
Braddock. Richards. You'll feel better after you've had some water. Why? Why the show of concern? Drink this. Last night. Last night, I woke up calling for my sister. I haven't thought about her in years. She died when we were children. She must have meant something special to you. Retreats into the past. Memory lapses. Childishness. Listen, if you're feeling better, we'll ask. Senator Lee. I'm growing senile, Richards. My mind. My mind, my brain is decaying like my body. Richards, what can I say to persuade you? Braddock, if I let you get to me, I wouldn't belong to myself anymore. You're never going to understand that, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I understand it. Compassion is an insidious thing. Yeah. People who want mercy usually don't show any. <sighs> Stay quiet. Try and get comfortable. We'll be at the doctor soon. did it. I'm dropping you off at the first farmhouse. the widow canby's mule she loaned it to me take a sick man into the doctor trouble is the wagon rides made him worse i see you have a truck i was wondering if you could take him in after he's rested a while well, we're butchering today we'll pay you for your trouble
Oh, you surely got a sick one here, don't you? Brother Wesley, this old man don't look like he's going to make it through the morning. Get away from me. Hey, looky there. All right. Little bite left there in the old rattler, ain't there, huh? Is he your granddaddy? No, no relation. But he'll make it worth your while if you'll help him. If he's all that rich, how come you trying to pass him off on us? Because I've done everything I can for him, and you've got the truck. But we ain't got the time. It's best you cart him down at the filling station at the junction. Arlie Sloan, he got a car he'll hire out for cash money. Brother Wesley, I think that you and I got us a Christian duty to perform. It ain't Sunday. It's butchering day, and we got work to do. You know what they say about the milk of human kindness? I want to talk to you. Where's your wallet? It's empty. I'd never carry any money. Richards, you can't leave me here with those two. You'll be all right. Offer him $50 to take you into the doctor and promise to double it if they get you there in the hour. You trust them. They're harmless. They're cute, brainless animals. There's nothing to stop them from knocking me on the head and feeding me to the livestock. Richards, I can read their minds. Braddock. I've done everything I can for you. I'm not going back to that glass cage you kept me in. I regret that, Richards. Very deeply. Well, so be it. I'd probably do exactly the same thing if I were in your place. Here, you take this. No thanks. Take it. You'll soon probably cut my throat for it. You're gonna be all right? Here, yeah. hey, take it. It's something to remember me by. Well, now, Brother Wesley and I decided that we're gonna do the Christian thing for you all. We're gonna take care of him. We surely will. Okay. Here you are, Granddaddy. Pick yourself a good big swallow out of this here jug. I'll hold it up here for you. No, 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 whiskey. My heart. <coughs> Come on, old man. Whiskey never hurt nobody. Now take it down there. I don't see no ring, Luther. That probably just slipped in his pocket. bird up there. That's a helicopter. That's my plane. He'll come down. Here. Well, he ain't coming down here for you, old man. Not unless that's a sweet low chariot hanging from up there. Here. No, 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 you fools. Don't go away. I'm short and brawny. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> Was he attached? He's pitiful. I mean, he really expected that whirly machine to come down out of the sky and just fetch him right up. He was on his knees like Moses there, beckoning after the faithful. I am Jordan Braddock. Another way he keeps saying his name means he's a very important person. <laughs> that ragged old scarecrow. We're going to have a look at oh, the oh, No, right no, I, I, I don't have it. I, I gave it to Richards, the man who was here. Well, just how do you expect to pay us for all our trouble? My friends, 
You, you get me in touch with my friends, and I'll see that you get all the money you want. No! I've changed my mind. I'll take care of him. There's no need to do that. Now, Brother Wesley here and I, we done agreed that we'd take care of him. We've never gone back on our word yet. Well, I tell you, I won't hold you to it. Well, I'll tell you. Why don't you just give us the ring, and uh, we'll just then forget that we ever saw you. What ring? I think they'll mind if we, uh, borrow their truck. What did it, Richards? You came back. Why? A ring? Save your breath. Yeah. Of course, it was the ring. That's why I gave it to you. Sometimes even the most noble conscience must be nudged into action. OK, so you can pull the strings. My brains and your blood, what we couldn't do in collaboration, in partnership. I want to live, Richards. I want to be free. Where's the doctor? Well, he's out. He raises bloodhounds, you know, and some men hired them. But you better come inside. Which would be quicker, taking him to the hospital or calling an ambulance? Well, calling, I expect. But you better come inside. Now, we got a nice dispensary for emergencies and such. I'm Mrs. Dr. Strom. If he's blood, I want you to give him a transfusion. Are you sure black coffee wouldn't do? This old gent reeks a cord. I am not drunk. I'm dying. They're driving a 1947 green pickup. What's the license number? It had a Florida plate on it. Yeah, and it was all crumply from when Luther smashed into a Chinaberry tree. Look, how many 1947 pickups are there on the road? Find it! that blood now, directly. Well, I can't do that. Now, I've told you and told you. I've been licensed. And it's against the rules without matching first. Look, ma'am. He said a transfusion of my blood before. And our types are compatible. And rules are rules. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm blue in the face from trying to explain to you. You'll just have to wait till somebody in authority comes and says it's all right. I could be dead. Well, I don't know that. And I'm not taking any chances. I have money. Stupid, stupid woman. It's all right. I make allowances for old folks. I better go check on that ambulance. Rules are rules. Who would believe Jordan Braddock would fall victim to a pygmy? Richards. Ben. I. I keep my bargains. Everything I offered you before. It's yours. Did I ask for anything? Oh. A 
that's a virtue. In heaven, but on earth, it's a fault. Want something, be that human. Need, crave, covet, lust, desire. Nothing wrong with selfishness. It's what drives men to achievement. It's the hungry men who build empires. And when they stop wanting, they grow content. Progress stops and civilizations. This is always one more thing left to want. That's the secret, man. That's the secret. Never be content with enough. But there's never enough. Something's missing. Why is it that I've always felt like... like something is missing? You care for me. No one else ever has. No one since Miriam. Is that what's been missing? The ring. The ring was that your price. I always knew. One day I'd buy you. So when Braddock died, I sold you to May Club. No, this was good food, Ben. You're a good chef. No, uh, funny how Braddock died. Scarcely your fault. You did more for him than could be humanly expected. And that's your flaw, Ben. You're a decent man in a mostly indecent world. Is that the way you see it? That's how it is. You're wrong. That's why I've been able to stay ahead of you. All you have are the men you can buy. Why do you have all the good people in the world? That's right. We'll help a man just because he needs it. You know, Ben, I like you. You're the sort of man I'd like to be if I could afford the luxury, but I can't. So we're here. And we stay here until I turn you over to Maitland. Can't wait. It's six miles to the nearest road, Ben. You'll never make it. The storm will start up again. I'll chance it. You'll freeze. You forget. I don't catch cold. Even if you do get down out of the mountains, how far can you go? Depends on who gives me a lift. Those good people you count on. That's right. I won't give up, Ben. And Maitland won't stop spending money. But that's all you have, and, and I don't think it'll be enough. Then keep running. But keep looking over your shoulder, because I'll be on your track. <laughs> 